What is up guys, Sharpen here. Now the question you might be asking is, what is a particle pack? Well, I'm here to explain you. It's a series of command block structures with animated particles using commands. Now these are calculated by math by five digits of accuracy. I did a lot of math and uh, this is the result. A lot of particles, a lot of command blocks, a lot of accuracy, and I think you guys are gonna like them. Now first I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Now first off, I'm gonna open up Minecraft. Single player, I'm gonna create new world. Okay, screw that. Game mode creative, and create new world. The game mode can also be in survival mode, but you have to have cheats on. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna pause the game here. So by downloading the pack, you should get this zip file. It contains a structures, names and readme files. And you kinda need all three. So, first off, type in percent app data percent. And it should open this file here. Now click on dot minecraft and go to saves. Select the world that you want the particles to be in. And now open up the zip file. Now drag the structures folder in here. It should appear here and everything's fine. Now you should also probably just drag the names on your desktop and also click the readme file. Please guys, it took me a long while to make it. Anyway, going in the game now, single player, demonstration of purposes. Now I'm gonna type in the command give sharpened structure block. Now place the structure block down and select the load structure block. Now for the structure name, you're gonna need the names file which are written in here. But I know them since I'm, since I'm the one who made them, so I'm gonna select air leap. Oops, air leap. So instead of a space, you have to use an underscore because that's how files are being saved, and uh, basically that's how you should also rename it when you put it in the game. So I'm gonna select the relative position of this, and I'm just gonna click include entities on because that's what you need to do because the structure includes entities, and it won't work unless you take this on. Now click load and the structure is in. This is the particle effect. Click the button and it's on. It works. It's your own very special particle. Now I'm not gonna turn this on now. I got a whole preview set for you guys so I can demonstrate all of these in another world. So here I've set up a little small track, small big track, with all the particles that I made. Quite a lot of them. Yeah, I know. So without further ado, I'm gonna start demonstrating them. These first five command blocks are simple, they're not animated, they're just executing stuff. Which is pretty simple, pretty basic, but I still included them because they look awesome. Now all of these particles are animated using math by the precision of five digits, so you can imagine the hours of math that I did for you guys so you can have this particle pack. Please respect it. And after this white line are the smart particles, which don't just initiate just like that, but you have to do something for order them to work. And they're very cool. I'm gonna get to that later, but now let's review the particle pack. Okay, starting off with the simple ones. So the first one is called Dragon Snowballs. So if I take this on, as you see, nothing happens, but the name says it all, it says Dragon Snowballs. I mean, you need snowballs, right? So I'm gonna take a few, and uh, when I'm ready to throw one, BAM! Dragon Breath particles around the snowballs. How cool is that? I mean, look at this. Throwing snowballs is much more fun this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just be careful it doesn't crash your computer, because this uses up a lot of particles. Okay, so the next one is called Flaming Arrows. Of course, I think you all know we need arrows for this. It says it in the name. Okay, I'm taking the bow and arrows. And if I flick this on, now that I'm gonna shoot arrows, you can see... Lava. Again, guys, this is just executing particles, and I made this pack for you guys to have fun in your world. Now, these particles don't affect the game, so if you shoot this in a house, it's not gonna burn, it's just a particle. I could make it burn, but the particle pack isn't supposed to interfere with the game, so you can play it without any other changes. Basically, just a fun, fun little addition to your game. The next one is called the Shadow Walk. And it's the first particle that's being executed on you. If I flick the lever now, you see black smoke under me. So, if I walk around, it's basically just a black trail. Something fun, nothing complicated, not animated, not anything. So, that, have fun with that. Next one, God Walk. Flick the lever, bam, I'm a god. I'm walking on clouds. 
You can defeat me, mortal. Yeah, fun addition. Very cool. Very nice. Just uh, don't use it if you have a shitty PC. Actually, don't use this pack if you have a shitty PC. It might crash. A lot of particles. Caution. Next one. Rain cloud. Flick the lever. Look at this. It's raining. Whoa. It's nice. But if we walk around, the rain is kind of slow because it's a it's a slow falling particle. Didn't find anything else. But if you stand still long enough, the rain catches you. Meh. So I place the particles here for them to start with the bad ones and then proceed to get better, better and better. So starting off with the angel ring. This one is simple, yet it's animated. So if I were to go to game mode 1 and open this up, as you see the particles are being summoned precisely by 5 digits and it was a lot of math and a lot of command blocks. Look at all this! A lot of command blocks for me to put them in. Please guys, I used a lot of my time for you guys to have this. Please respect this. Okay, I'm gonna press the button. And uh, as you see now, I'm an angel! This is an angel ring on top of my head, turning around, following me where I go. Of course, it looks derpy when I walk, but this is single player. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's nice. Now in order to break this, you have to break the circuit. Break the redstone and place it down again, but uh, I kind of disabled the drops here, so it doesn't work. Eh, eh, you didn't see anything. Okay, there, that should do the trick. The next one is called PARTY! So if I press the button, you'll see party particles around me, following the colors of the light spectrum, from red to purple and back from the beginning. The particle can be stopped by destroying the circuit and placing it back down once the signal passes it. BAM! The next one is called the Heaven Ring. Took me quite a while to make this one and it's pretty cool too. One more thing for you guys to consider, if there is the redstone block in the contraption and there is no actual circuit except this, well if there is a redstone block you can press the button twice and it will stop as well. I mean this is how we stop this one. Press the button, you see a circle of clouds forming above my head and uh, two little waves of particles falling down around me. It's pretty nice, look at this. Just like an angel but better. But wait guys, something funny happens when I jump. Look at this. Woo! Woo! I don't know why this happens, but it's pretty cool to watch. So, since this one has a redstone block, I can press the button to stop it. Cool, huh? I wish every particle was made this way, but I was too lazy with this. The next particle is called Snow Aura. If I click this... You can see tiny particles around me. Oh, that was Discord, don't mind that. So yeah, it's pretty min minimalistic and simple, and it's pretty cool. I mean, I like this one. Much wow! Okay, as you see, there's a redstone block, so press the button again to stop it, and the particles will stop it as well, so... Next one! Fire Clover! Press the button, and you can see a clover, a fire flower, forming below my feet. This is a beautiful one. I mean, I like it. I mean, I spend a lot of my time doing it, and uh, yeah, it's nice. Well, if you walk, you get some funny results, but that doesn't matter. As long as you stay still, it looks nice. No redstone block here, so I gotta delete it and place it back. Shadow Burst. This is actually one of the particles that was made at the end when this came out, but it, it, it sucked. So that's why it's placed here with the beginner ones. So, press the button. Uh, well, yeah, clouds below my feet, and then four rays go up and explode above my head. Nothing too special, and I messed it up and I was too lazy to fix it, so it, now, now it looks like this. This is all you have. Eh! Nobody likes you. Okay, now the big one. It's called Fire Ring. Those of you who play Mindplex, yes, this is the actual particle taken from Mindplex. Well, actually, recreated by my own, and uh... Yeah, this is a Mindplex particle. But I like it, and it's pretty OP, looks pretty nice. And yeah, you guys, you can't blame me, it's pretty cool. But I like the server, I like the particles, so I recreated them. Hey! Next one, Blood Spiral, particle effect. Click the button, and you see three spirals around me, and when they meet at the center, flames go up. <laughs> Basically, I don't know why I'm describing this, you can see this on the screen. Well, uh, yeah, also a lot of math, three different points, doesn't matter, you guys are not interested in that, you, you just want to see the particles, and that's completely reasonable. But look at this! God, I should've placed more redstone blocks. Okay, another big one, it's called Blood Helix. Yes, also taken from Mindplex, and probably one of my favorite particles there is in this pack. So if I click the button, watch closely. Look at this. 
is forming around me. And then, wow! It formed a perfect spiral. And look at this! Look at this. Don't you just wish you could have that? Oh, wait, you can. You can download the pack right now. Just go in the description and click the down link. So when I walk, it doesn't look that derpy. But the second I stop, it's back. It's right here. I mean... It reappears very quickly and it looks pretty nice. But uh, look at this, it's initiating particles like crazy. This clock is really fast and all the command blocks are running at the same time. So if your PC is too slow, don't use this one. This one takes up a lot. So yeah, watch closely as I'm gonna break it because the particles are slowly gonna be disappearing around me. Look at this, slowly going up and disappearing. Wow, majestic. Okay, we already reached the line, that means the smart particles are now following up. So, air leap, that's the one from the tutorial. Yeah, I'm gonna press the button, and it says the air leap particles are now turned on. Because you actually never know when this is on and when it's not. So, that's why I made this turned on uh, message. So, how does this work? Well, it's called air leap, so if you leap, aka jump, you will initiate particles from your feet. It's like a it's like a cool jumping animation, but I like it. It's really cool, and uh, yeah, a bunch of swirls, a bunch of clouds, slime block particles, and yeah, it makes you look like you're jumping in the air. Whee! Okay, let's turn this off. It nicely says particles turned off. Why, thank you. Next particles, party leap. Yeah, so it's leap. It's the same one as this one, just uh, it's a party one. Ooh! Look at that. It's cool, huh? It's cool. Party? Anyone? Yeah. I'm done with this. Next one. Now, I like this one. I love this one. It's called bleeding. So if I turn this on, you see nothing happening because it's a smart particle. But, as soon as I get to two and a half hearts, I'm gonna start to bleed. Why is this not working? Okay, yeah, I found a problem. The machine was already on when I was here, so now it's on. This time should work. So. As I said before, the moment you reach two and a half particles, you start to bleed. I'm bleeding! And the moment you reach one and a half particles, you start to bleed even heavier. Look at this! I'm dying! So yeah, since there's no natural generation in the world, I gave myself a couple of golden apples for me to regain my health. Okay, the next one, and almost the last one, it's called the Enchanter, and this one is also pretty cool. Okay, see this armor stand? His name is Bob. This is Bob the armor stand. This is the reason you have to take include entities on, because some of the particles work on entities. Some of them have invisible armor stands on them that initiate the redstone block command, and uh, yeah, turning the Enchanter on is gonna give me an ability to enchant stuff on a very awesome level. So I'm gonna take a bunch of iron swords and lapis, well, well lapis, and uh, some levels, and now I'm gonna press F5 for you guys to see this better. If I open the enchantment table and place all the ingredients on, okay I'm gonna enchant and then close it up really fast. So BAM! You can see these particles every time you enchant something. I'm gonna wanna enchant with this. Okay wait, let's go again. Open it up, place it in, and BAM! Looks so cool! Look at this! Okay, one more time, we can measure. BAM! Okay, I wanna see it from this angle. Wait. I didn't see really much. Final particle! It's called the Dark Abyss. This is the particle that took me the most time and the most math ever. It's a hexagonal shape, so you can imagine it was difficult to make it, a lot of commands, 5 digit accuracy, all of these are executing each particle, and some of them are executing even more than that. Without further ado, let's take a look at the last particle. BAM! It's a hexagon that runs towards you, explodes, bursts out and then shifts to one slot on the right. Look at this. Even when you're running it looks cool. Look at it! So guys, if you want to use the particle pack, be sure to download the link in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe and, you know, all the other stuff. Oh yeah, join our server on Discord, yeah. The link for that will be in the description as well. And also, don't forget to check out the Twitter, if, you, of course, you're interested in. And that'd be it, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, do me a favor, have fun with these, because I didn't. Yeah, thank you guys for watching the particle pack, and uh, have fun with the particles, and uh, I don't know how to make a proper outro. Yeah, stay sharp!